For the longest time, I've kept this on the down low. I didn't want anybody to know. It was basically my big secret and I was really ashamed of it. But over time, I have a little bit come to terms with it and even though I hadn't put it on my channel for the longest time, it was on my list of things that I wanted to kind of communicate to you guys to share eventually and so here it is. I had a big stealing problem when I was around third to sixth or seventh grade. Like even if I didn't need something I would be taking it if I thought I would if I thought it had value or if I thought I wanted it or it looked good or something and they would be small things and then eventually not so much which I'll talk to you about later in the video but kind of want to start out with the fact that things started changing for me around third grade and I think that's when I started noticing stealing problems or when I start remembering actually because I don't I don't think I thought about it that much at the time but in third grade I think after third grade actually we went on vacation to my mom's college friend's house in Colorado and we I was just playing with um the friend's kids and we were playing with like beads and sequins and stuff and honestly by the end of it I kind of just like plugged them to a little bag and took it home and that was I feel like one of the very first memories of me stealing um I also remember another time during this carnival thing in elementary school we had tickets that we got from games and then we would use them for prizes and I remember at the end when they were packing up I just ended up taking some stuff from the table and lied to my parents about it. This was also like third or fourth grade maybe. Um, those were the very first times I feel like I had done something like that and then in like fifth grade in fourth grade actually there were a couple instances where i stole like pencils from people's desks or like small things like that and then in fifth grade it turned into like going into the teacher's desk for jolly ranchers actually still like pretty childish stuff i guess but still definitely not right and then by sixth grade though I was like sixth grade was when manic episodes and like the bipolar stuff started really showing through um of course before that like as early as third grade I had kind of felt something off but they didn't really hit like manic episodes didn't really hit until sixth grade and that was like all over the place it was a mess but I was like taking things from people's lockers because people would like put a pencil in their locker like on the inside so that like the little um, latch to open it would be a little higher and wouldn't lock completely. So like I could find those people's lockers and I would just take things from people's lockers and I put them in my own locker and I never really used any of this stuff but I was like in a way addicted to stealing and I just kept doing it and then towards the end of the year I was randomly sitting at a teacher's desk and I think this was also during a manic episode and then I went I was going through her desk looking at stuff and I can't believe like nobody really stopped me it was really strange that like I was just doing this in the middle of class but I ended up finding an envelope with money in the back of it and then I just took it and then I gave it away to people like other students which made it really easy for them to catch me and be like you can't do that and then I got suspended for a few days so that was like the biggest 
thing. I was like, it was so hard coming back to school the next day after the suspension and people asking me like, did you get suspended? And like, my parents had told me to lie, but like everybody, everybody knew. Everybody knew I was the one who did it because I was passing out the money and like they all went to Dairy Queen after. <laughs> but like, yeah, that happened and that was the biggest thing for a while. Um, I also was like taking pencils and stuff from people's desks still, but that, I think the suspension was what really was like the wake up call and I think it took a little bit of time to taper off of that a little because I remember also being like taking small things after that but there was no big instances I feel like I was like it it was bad it was like I couldn't control myself and I actually looked up like the relationship between stealing and bipolar wondering if there was anybody else who had experienced this kind of thing because I did talk to a few people in forums before where they had mentioned like oh I had a stealing problem when I was young too and I looked recently and it seems like there are some people that have problems during mania where they're like addicted to stealing like I was and there was a first thing that popped up and it said like research on dopamine levels show that people can become addicted to stealing in a similar way to like gambling or drugs or alcohol which was really interesting to me like that that could happen so it makes sense because during manic episodes like the levels of neurotransmitters and stuff is all off and so, like, the dopamine levels, I feel like, that I had during mania when I was younger at that time was just, like, caused that addiction. And, like, now I don't feel that at all. Like, it's just, it kind of went away after middle school. I never really had a problem after that. But it's still like something I was really ashamed of and something I wanted to keep hidden and I remember in like high school freshman year I would have people from my middle school who knew about this incident telling people that I was being friends with like trying to be friends with that I had done that and they would either be like well I know who she is now I'm gonna still be friends with her or they would completely turn me away and they wouldn't even tell me about it either and some of these people that were telling others were people that I considered my friends which was really hurtful because I was trying to move past it I wanted to kind of move forward from that time in my life because it was pretty dark like I could tell you a bunch of things about what happened to me in middle school and things I did and just like the havoc that bipolar caused me in my life but honestly that is not for this video this video is about the stealing problem that I had and that other people might relate to um but yeah the biggest thing I think was during manic episodes like it was a compulsive thing and for the longest time I'd just be doing that and then feeling guilty about it but then the next time I was a manic I would do it again so if anybody has that problem or had that problem like feel free to comment if you're not comfortable commenting you can also just message me I'm interested in knowing your experiences with this or if you've never had this problem before comment as well like anything helps please like and subscribe if you related to this video if you liked this video and yeah i'll see you guys next time